Hi, my name is John Kelsey. I'm National Trainer for Hard Hat Industry Solutions. This is a session from our Red Rhino Academy, our complete training course in electrical estimating using Red Rhino software. In this session, we cover how to do a material takeoff for a conduit feeder and enter the conduit and wire into Red Rhino estimating program. To complete this training segment, I'll be using a project drawing, a Red Rhino material takeoff sheet, and a scale X to measure the conduit run on the drawing. If you do not own a scale X or other similar device that you can roll across the plans to make measurements, I highly recommend that you get one. They're a huge time saver. You can buy them online. If you prefer to use a ruler to take off conduit, simply apply the same concepts I discussed regarding the scale X to using a ruler. Let's take a closer look at the drawing. The drawing shows a top view of a building containing electrical panels. It also shows a feeder conduit which runs from the main switchboard, MSB, to panel A, the 200 amp panel. The conduit is a 2 inch EMT with four 3 aught copper and one number 6 ground. I'll demonstrate how to take off the 2 inch feeder conduit and transfer this information to Red Rhino. Now let's take a look at the material takeoff form we will use. And by the way, Red Rhino has material takeoff forms that you can print out from the home page. I'll be using Red Rhino's material takeoff form A for this example. It's been filled out with the conduit information shown on the drawing. Returning to the drawing, before you start, set up your scale X to the same scale which matches the drawings. Read the scale X instructions if you do not know how to do this, it's a crucial step. Now, I'm going to have you pretend that my pointer is a scale X while I demonstrate how to do a conduit takeoff. And here's a, here's a tip for taking off conduit. Take off all conduits at right angles to the plan. Do not measure on diagonals. By measuring at right angles, you allow enough conduit and wire to go around obstacles in the building. Just like this, you roll it off at right angles to the building. And here's another tip. You can allow for riser conduit by over rolling or rolling past the end of the conduit run. When you roll past, it adds extra length on the scale X. Now, for those of you that may, may not know the definition of a conduit riser, this refers to the conduit that runs vertical out of the top or bottom of the panel. Okay, let's assume that you have everything set up to, to roll off the feeders. Okay. I roll the scale X over the path of the conduit at a right angle. Okay, I'm going to overroll slightly to cover the amount of conduit riser, which is the conduit going up or down out of panels. Since I'm using a virtual scale X and you cannot see the length it measured, in this example, I'm going to say that the scale X shows that this run is 130 feet long. I take this information and write it down on the takeoff sheet. Here is an illustration of how you would write it on the takeoff form. 130 feet of 2 inch EMT conduit with four number 3 aught coppers and one number 6 ground. Runs equals 1. I also have to count 90 degree bends or elbows. By looking at the drawing, I know I need 190 going up out of one panel and 190 going up out of the other panel and one additional 90 in the run for the total of three 90 degree bends or elbows. Notice that I did not take off couplings, connectors, or conduit supports. Red Rhino does that for you. I will show you what I mean when I enter the materials into Red Rhino. On our takeoff sheet, you can see the example of how to write the elbows. I show I show three 90-degree elbows, and later we'll enter that into Red Rhino. 
I want to define two other terms that you'll need to know for conduit takeoff. They are wire makeup and conduit application. Wire makeup is the amount of length of additional wire that must be added for the wire to extend past the end of the conduit to the termination point. You must calculate the wire makeup at both ends of the run and then average it. Red Rhino will do the I should say, Red Rhino will add the wire, but you must input the length required to get accurate results. In our example, the conduit running into the top of panel MSB, I estimate requires seven feet of makeup length. In other words, I calculate it takes seven feet of additional wire to extend past the end of the conduit to the circuit breaker where they must terminate. The wire makeup length needed for the 225 amp panel, I estimate would be around three feet. Now seven feet at one end and three at the other makes a total of 10 feet. And I divide that, or I, I split it up between the, the both ends, it ends up being five feet average. Now I'll show you how this is entered in Red Rhino in a moment. The next definition you need to know is conduit application. Conduit application refers to the level of difficulty of, to install the conduit. Red Rhino considers six different applications. A normal application refers to insulation less than six feet off the floor with a flat working surface. In a concealed application, conduit would be installed inside walls or above ceilings. In an exposed plus 10 feet application, the conduit would be installed 10 feet above the floor, requiring a ladder or scaffold to install the conduit. In an exposed plus 20 feet application, the conduit would be installed 20 feet above the floor a man lift or scaffold would be needed to install the conduit. Okay, a, in a slab application, conduit would be installed around concrete forms and rebar. In an underground application, conduit would be installed in a trench. In this example, the conduit would be installed 10 feet above the floor. I will also show you how to select the correct application in Red Rhino in a moment. This concludes the portion of material takeoff. Now we switch over to Red Rhino software, and I'll demonstrate how to use the conduit wizard to enter the conduit we've collected in our takeoff sheet. I will assume you know how to log on to Rhino, create an estimate, edit materials on the takeoff input page, and use the conduit wizard. If you've not learned these things, please refer to our other training sessions on these topics first. From the home page, we go to the third box down and click View My Estimate. This is the estimate list. I click on the estimate that I want to work on. In this example, I'll click on the estimate named Sample Estimate for Conduit Wizard Training. In the estimate, the section name is called Sample Section for Conduit Wizard Training. I click on Edit Takeoff to begin the input. I'll now use the Conduit Wizard. The conduit wizard is for rapid input of conduit runs. You can literally input thousands of feet of conduit in just a few seconds. This is where the conduit run information gets input into the program, and the program does its magic. I click on the wizards button, and click on conduit wizard, and a pop-up appears. At the top, where it says Material drop-down, I click on that and select EMT. And over to the right, I click the Size drop-down and select 2-inch. Below the Size drop-down, it says Style. I'll click on that drop-down, and this setting allows me to choose what type of EMT fittings to input into the program. Many types of EMT fittings are available to select from on the drop-down list. Let me explain. There's four different types. They're either steel or die-cast. Uh, SS means set screw. WP means weatherproof, which are compression fittings. SSIT means set screw insulated throat. And WPIT means weatherproof or compression fittings insulated throat. For this example, we'll use SS diecast. Next at the top right-hand side of the pop-up, I click Find. That populates the correct materials down below products. 
As discussed earlier, the term conduit application refers to the conduit installation levels of difficulty. Red Rhino has several conduit applications. Each application has different labor quantities depending on difficulty of installation. As shown on the takeoff sheet, I set the application at plus 10 feet, like the conduits to be installed above 10 feet off the floor. If the conduit run were 20 feet from the floor, I would have selected 20 feet. Again, applications refer to the level of difficulty of the conduit run, and the program has more labor built in for more difficult runs. Next, below the application box, I click in the run link and type in 130 for the number of feet shown on the takeoff. I go to the right in the number of runs and type in one. There was one run of conduit. Next, I enter the four three-aught copper wires in one number six. I click the wire drop-down, select three-aught copper, in the number of box, I type in the number four for four three-aughts. Next, I'm going to do the ground wire. I click the drop-down, find my number six wire, number of, quantity of one. Okay. Next, I input the makeup length. This, as I explained earlier, wire makeup is the amount of wire to be added that extends past the end of the conduit to the termination point. The conduit wizard calculates the amount of wire sticking out of both ends of the conduit. The quantity is entered into the makeup box. In this example, I enter five feet, or just a five there, and five feet of all wires will be added to the estimate for both ends of the conduit run. Below the makeup box is the box that says else quantity. This is where you input the number of 90, 90 degree bends that you did on the takeoff. I click in there and type in the number three. Next, at the top of the pop-up, I click the Add button. This will populate the materials to the takeoff sheet. This is what I just entered. On the top line, line one, is the EMT conduit. Look over to the right is the catalog number of the material, the quantity of material, which is 130 feet, and the unit price of the material. Next to that is the unit of measure. UOM, or unit of measure, um, stand, is an abbreviation for with letters to represent quantities. And E stands for each, C for 100, and M for 1,000. The units of measure for each item are used in the same way you would buy that item. For instance, conduit is sold per 100 feet, so the unit of measure applied to conduit is C, representing per 100. On the same line to the right is a display for labor hours. Finally, at the far right, extended labor required to install all the conduit. Each item that is listed shows the unit price of materials plus the extended price. Red Rhino also displays the labor hours per unit plus extended labor. Notice that the conduit wizard has added couplings, connectors, and supports. You didn't have to take those off and you didn't have to input them. The program calculated that for you. Also, look at how the program calculated the total footage of wire needed to be installed for this installation. Okay, With this, we conclude our training session on Red Rhino's Conduit Wizard. This tool allows you to quickly and efficiently enter your conduit materials. It adds in couplings and connectors and supports and calculates the labor required for the installation. Our Conduit Wizard greatly speeds up the estimating process. This is John Kelsey saying goodbye for now. Thanks for joining me in this session of Red Rhino Academy.